friends. Today I'm coming to you from Matthew's room. I needed to use his whiteboard today because I'm going to talk about a special type of art that you can paint. It's called Impressionism. And if we were in school right now, we would be learning about France because we would be getting ready for our Olympics. But since we can't be at school, I broke out this fancy hat that you would wear in France called a beret. And I am going to teach you how to paint Impressionism art. And one of the most famous artists that came from France who painted Impressionism was Claude Monet. And this is a book about some of his paintings and I wanted to show you a picture of what he looked like. This is what Claude Monet looked like and he painted beautiful pictures and we're going to learn how to do that today. And this is one of his famous paintings and you see it's like a little stream with water lilies. So. I thought, because if you are in France, you would see the Eiffel Tower. So today I'm going to paint the Eiffel Tower. And all I need to do this are some Q-tips, the things you use to clean your ears that you have in your bathroom, and some paint. And I put my paint in my deviled egg tray so that way I could keep the colors separate. So I'm gonna use the color blue, I have green, orange, red, and yellow. So the way that this art works to paint, you take your Q-tip and you can dip it into your paint. Now I'm gonna use blue, and then I'm gonna look at my Eiffel Tower, and I know that it's bigger at the bottom, and then it gets skinnier as it goes up. So the way that I'm gonna paint is I'm going to take my Q-tip and I'm gonna start at the bottom and I'm gonna make my legs. And the way I'm doing this is I'm just dotting it. See, I'm just dotting it. Just touching and dotting. I'll get a little paint and I'll dot, 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 dot. And I'm gonna dot across. I have the base. And then, oh, I'm gonna dot, 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 dot across and then I'm going to dot 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 more paint dot 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 up to the skinny point at the top does that look like my Eiffel Tower right and then I'm gonna get another Q-tip and I wanna put some background on it. I'm going to make a sun. So I'm just gonna dot, make several dots. Dot, dot, dot. And what shape is a sun? It is a circle. So I'm going to dot to make a circle in my sky. Because the sun is the shape of a circle. See my sun, and then what else could we add? I think we need some grass. So I'm going to paint at the bottom. I'm going to make my dots at the bottom to make grass. I'm using my dots. I'm dotting with my Q-tip. Dot, 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 dot. closer to show you what I've done. You see my Eiffel Tower? I just use Q-tips and paint to make impressionist art. You can do this at home if you can just find, have your parents find some Q-tips and some paint. You can use any kind of paint and you just take your Q-tip and dot to make your shape. And I got my idea from the Eiffel Tower and I just looked at it 
and I dotted in the shapes. I used circle for the sun. I used straight lines at the bottom. I used a square. And then I made a triangle at the top to make my Eiffel Tower. And you can keep adding to this. I could put clouds on here. I could add a lot of different things to it. So that is today's lesson. So I'm going to say bye. And I hope that you enjoy learning a new way to paint pictures, a new form of art. And I'll see you soon.